Hi everyone. Thank you guys for commenting, liking the videos, uh, sharing, subscribing if this resonates. I really appreciate your comments. It helps me get back in the algorithm and I also just love hearing from you guys. So thank you for the support. All right, let's get right into the reading. Whatever the cards want to say. Keep in mind, I do channel multiple energy groups on here, so this may or may not be your energy group. Only take it if it resonates. Don't try to force it to fit. If it is your reading, then the majority of it, or if, if not all of it, should resonate with you. You know, you'll know if it's for you intuitively. Ooh, okay. You got some good energy here. Hmm. Ace of Swords is truth and clarity. I almost see it as justice. You're getting your wishes fulfilled. The magician. You might even be a witch. You might have even done witchcraft or you might just be a powerful manifester if you're not a witch. It's like you might, you just work with energy somehow. You know how to manifest things. I feel like you put your energy, your time, your attention into something. There's like very strong intentions here is what I'm getting. And something is, something you've been wanting is manifesting. Let me look more into this. Bear with me. The moon. Temperance. The emperor. Knight of Cups. A judgment. Let me see here. So we've got truth and clarity. I feel like you got really clear about what you wanted. I feel like you got very clear about what you wanted. And I feel like you manifested it. What I'm feeling here, though, I feel like you were ready for this person, but this person wasn't ready for you. But I feel like they're ready for you now. This could be someone from the past, but for a lot of you, I actually feel like this might be somebody new. I feel like maybe you've been picking up on a new soulmate and you're like, where are they? When am I going to meet them? Like I'm in this, you know, powerful energy. I'm the manifester. I'm making the world my oyster. Like what's going on? Why hasn't love come in? And I feel like your spirit guides actually had someone specific in mind for you. And it, it's like you were ready. You were in alignment. You weren't doing anything wrong. I think you started doubting yourself because you're like, you know, what am I doing wrong? Like I'm, I'm, you know, a powerful manifester. I'm putting all this energy in. I'm visualizing. I'm meditating on it. I'm putting that intention out in the universe to manifest, you know, a soulmate, a twin flame. You're like, like, what's wrong? Like what's, what's going on here? It's like you felt powerful, but you also felt discouraged and kind of confused at the same time. But yeah, I think what's going on here is I think that I think that you manifested someone particular, but I feel like they weren't quite, I don't even want to say they weren't at your level. I just feel like they weren't, um, it's almost like you've wrapped, for whoever this is for, I feel like you've wrapped up the majority of your harsh karmic lessons. I mean, you might have little karmic lessons here and there that you're going to learn in the future, but I feel like all the major heavy life lessons you've already learned in your younger years. And so the road ahead, if this is your story, that is, the road ahead is actually pretty smooth for you. You know, the worst is over is what I'm feeling for this energy group. But I feel like your person, and I don't want to say they weren't as evolved as you because they almost are as evolved as you. But I, I just feel like they had like one final karmic lesson to go through and it's like this person matches what you're asking for. If you're asking for someone who's honest and loyal and intelligent and all these things, this emperor is those things for you, male or female. But I feel like it was it was kept hidden behind the scenes because this emperor needed to, to balance their life out. This emperor needed to balance their life out. There was one final battle that they had to go through before they could come forward and commit to love. Um, now, like I said, for some of you, this could be an ex that you've been trying to manifest back for others. Maybe you're even doing reconciliation magic, but for others, I feel like this could actually just be a new love where you're just getting very clear with the universe about exactly what you want. You, I, I feel, so whatever you've done, your spirit guides want you to know there's something that you did that, um, really aligned you with what you wanted. 
because I almost feel like there was a moment it could even be like a period of like a week or two weeks but it's like there, there it was almost like you um how do I explain this energy that I'm channeling it's it's almost like in the past it's like you were a powerful manifest but maybe you were going back and forth and there was like these little blocks like kind of just bumpy is kind of what I feel and I don't know what what shifted but something shifted where it's like you learned a universal secret to manifestation it's almost like you had some kind of epiphany you're like, oh, this is the energy I need to be in to manifest things. And like, maybe you had like an amazing day where, you know, there's just all these synchronicities and uh, you just felt like you were on top of the world and, and you kind of, it's like, so, like a light bulb moment, like something clicked for you. You're like, oh, this is the energy that I need to be in to manifest things. It's like you got really clear about what you wanted. Or if you're a witch, you might have even um, started uh, practicing a different type of witchcraft or you maybe started wording things and your spells differently. It's going to be different for all of you. But if you're in this energy group, it's it's almost like you just, you learned the secret to manifestation or you, you learned what works for you personally. Like maybe in your spell work, it's like you started wording things as if they're happening in the present moment or, you know, you came across like subliminal or binaural beats on YouTube and they're really working for you. It's, it's almost like, like you just got really clear on what you wanted is basically what I'm feeling. Like you, you weren't going back and forth. You just completely committed to that path, to that energy. You know, it wasn't, there wasn't any confusion. It was like this, this epiphany, this truth that just came in really quickly about how to get your wishes fulfilled. Being the magician, being a powerful manifester, you're like, you know, there, there was no back and forth energy. You're like, no, I know exactly what I want. I want this type of person. I want, you know, you, you just, you, you zoned in on it. But anyway, yeah. It, so, so you did everything right. Um, and your spirit guide just wanted to bring that to your attention to, to say, Hey, yeah, you are on the right path with that. Like that is, you are in alignment, whatever you did differently recently, like keep, keep doing it. You, you got whatever the epiphany was for you. Hold on to that epiphany. Don't lose, don't lose sight of that. Maybe even write it down in a journal or something. Um, cause what works for you might not work for others. Like, you know, positive thinking works for a lot of people when it comes to manifestation. It, it personally doesn't work for me. Like I manifest best when I'm emotional. You know, if I like just that raw emotion, that passion, that's how I manifest. It really depends a lot on who you are, on your past life ex experience, on your your childhood experiences. There's so many things that come into play. Um, that's why it's like, yes, there are laws of attraction and those are real, but it's more complex than that. The subconscious mind comes into play too. You know, you have to find the energy that works best for you personally. And I feel like you found that here. You figured that out. Um, so don't lose sight of that. Don't lose sight of who you are and, and, and what energy you need to be in to, to live your best life and manifest the best. But anyway, yeah, it's like this person wasn't ready for you. Um, you were in alignment, you did everything right, but they weren't, they had another karmic lesson to tie up. They might've even been in a relationship when you guys started picking up on each other's energy. And I feel like they've left that energy behind. Um, cause they had one final battle here. This emperor, this person's very strong, very powerful. This person is your match, but it's like, they had one more thing that they had to go through and now they're able to make a judgment call, um, and they're like, you know what? I'm ready for love now. I've cleared this up. I'm ready for love. I'm ready to try again. It could have even been someone that they needed to get over. Maybe they were already broken up, but they weren't. their heart wasn't quite fully open. And I feel like, too, I feel like you've also put a lot of intention in that you're like, hey, I'm not, I don't want someone who's emotionally unavailable. Um, and it's good to, to word, to focus on what you do want, not focus on what you don't want. So I don't think you necessarily worded it that way, but I think you probably worded it or visualized it. Like I want someone who's emotionally available. I want someone who's emotionally open. I want someone who's romantic. And it's like, he's naturally in this state, but whatever he was going through might've made him, um, distracted. It could even be like a work situation. Uh, for some, it's like he was just getting over an ex and he wasn't quite there. And then it's like something came in to clear that energy. So he actually is in alignment with you. So it's like your spirit guides have been pushing this, this person to catch up, to, to reach that vibration, to align with what you've been manifesting. Tell me more about this situation. Why the three of swords? Ace of cups. Okay. Interesting. 
Ten of Cups. King of Swords, Page of Pentacles. Hmm. Oh. You're going to move very fast with this emperor. You go from the ace of cups to the ten of cups. This king of swords, this, um, it could be someone emotionally unavailable from your past. This king of swords could have even been the trigger for this. He could, he or she could have even been the reason why you're like, you know what? That's, that was like the end of a karmic cycle. You're like, never again. Like, I want someone, I want a king of cups, not a king of swords. I want someone who's emotionally expressive. I want someone who actually loves me. I want someone who actually wants me and is willing to show me that they want me. I want someone who makes the effort. Like this this king of swords could have triggered that reaction in you where you actually wrapped up that karmic cycle and stepped into your power as a manifester. And you're like, I know what I want in the future. I'm not ever going back to being treated that way or to to unrequited love, you know, chasing someone who doesn't want me, who's emotionally unavailable. Um, but I, f I feel like this King of Swords is going to be heartbroken because you're going to move so quickly with this Emperor. It's like Ace of Cups to Ten of Cups. There wasn't even like a middle, like a Two of Cups, you know, Six of Cups. No, none of that. It was just eight, one to ten, just like that. <laughs> um, you're going to move very fast with this Emperor. This King of Swords is going to see it. He's not going to like it. He might try some sneaky stuff to try to... Tell me more about this. He might try some sneaky stuff to try to get in the way of this. Ooh, yeah, tower. Star. I feel like he almost wants to defeat you. Like, he almost wants to, like, break you down so you don't... It's almost abusive. It's almost like he wants to break you down so you don't have anybody but him. It's like he thinks if he can create a tower moment, like if he can create chaos in your life or create endings in your life, he feels like maybe he'll have a chance to heal things with you. But I think that's, you know, him going about that it that way, you're going to know. You're going to feel that energy of the tower. You're going to be like, no, someone who loves me wouldn't do this to me. Someone who loves me wouldn't do this to me. Yeah, he feels entitled to you. He feels like it's justice. But I feel like I feel like if he goes about things this way, I th I feel like he's he's going to be, yeah. It's like he wants to build things together as a team, and it's not going to work the way he's planning. You have divine protection on your side. He's going to get rejected, and he's going to get rejected because of how he's going about it. Because he's doing, it's like he could be doing dark magic, or he's doing um, like he just wants you know to to cause chaos in your life. And I feel like you're not going to trust him because of that. You know what I mean? Like he's giving you reason not to be vulnerable with you or not to be vulnerable with him. Because if he came back correctly, if he came back like, you know, genuinely as like a king of cups, like, hey, I don't want to see you with anybody else. I love you. I want us to heal this. Um, you know, there might even have been potential there. You might have even opened yourself up to it and been like, okay, like, I, I feel like you're being honest with me. I feel like you're being genuine. Let's heal this. But he's coming back in a toxic, sneaky way, and you're going to see right through it. He's going to try to make it seem like, you know, presenting himself as, you know, I want to heal this, I want to work through this, but you're going to feel that tower energy behind this, that he wants chaos in your life. He wants to cause endings in your life, so you don't have anyone else but him. Um... Yeah, and it's like he's doing it to himself. He can't he can't trick you. He can't pull he's gonna try to pull some sneaky shit and it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. You're just gonna see right through it. And it's just even if you still have love for this man, even if part of you does miss him, it's just gonna it's it's just gonna like reaffirm, you know, that you can't trust him. It's just gonna be one of those things where if, if maybe part of you does get nostalgic and miss him one from time to time. And him coming back and with this tower energy, this seven of swords energy, it's just going to make you feel like, you know, it's just going to confirm everything. It's going to almost give you closure where you're like, okay, this person really never was going to change. They're always going to be the king of swords. They're always going to be a cheater or be, you know, just loyal in some way. They're always going to play games. I can't trust them. Tell me more about this emperor, though, this new love that you've been manifesting. The fool. Ooh, the Fool, Nine of Pentacles, Six of Wands, 
the hermit. Yeah, I feel like you're very independent and you're very, it's it's like you're very um, driven to succeed on your own, like hermit and nine of pentacles, like you're driven to succeed on your own. You might even not be focused on love right now. You might be more focused on money or career or other things, just success. And then you have this king of pentacles come in. And I think he's going to admire these things about you. He's going to admire the fact that you're just, yeah, he's going to see you as a treasure that he wants to hold on to. Might even be a little bit obsessed with you. <laughs> Yeah, he's going to be a king of cups for you. He's a king of pentacles with most people. Maybe he's more business oriented. Um, but with you, I think you're going to bring out a softer side in him. He's going to show you a side of himself that he doesn't show most people. And there's going to be a lot of passion between you two, a lot of chemistry, physical attraction. He's going to see you as a prize that he wants to hold on to and move things forward with you. So it's really good energy. I'm going to go ahead and put this out. I hope this helped you guys. And as I said, I really appreciate your comments. As always, I do private readings. If anyone wants one, my email is dragonenchantress at awol.com. That email is right below in the description box. Thank you for watching.